Okay, today's craft is going to be to make a set of homemade runes. For this project, I had to get a wood, wood burner. Didn't cost too much, about $10 or, or so. I got some wood coins. These are bigger than what I was thinking, but uh, they'll be fine. Be easier to read. I have a pencil and I have the uh, drawings for what the runes look like as a guider. I'm going to elaborate on them a little bit more, but uh, yeah. First step is to draw out some with the pencil. So here goes. For the record, I'm making Algam runes. I got myself a stack right here and I'm going to work on them one by one. Drawing out my pattern. The Algam runes belong to the Celtic people of Ireland. That's where they came from. They're uh, old, not quite as old as the Nordic runes, but they're uh, similar but very different in their own unique way. Um, I'm not sure where they, they got their influence form from, if the whole concept was borrowed from Norwegian or borrowed from the Vikings who would come in and conquer parts of Ireland at times. But, um, well, let me get drawn. I should have a straight line. I guess I could use this. Yeah, maybe I'll do this. The edge of this. Sorry for the sunlight. It's coming through the skylights up there and it's a little bright. Okay, got the first bunch drawn out. Well, I still have another bunch to do, but uh, that's half of them. Okay, got them done. Heating up my wood burner now. And my this wood burner, it was fairly inexpensive, really. And it came with, uh, well, three attachments and in addition to the one that they have on the end already. And it's warming up now. You can get different amount of uh, attachments. You can get real complexive um, pieces. Now I just have to figure out how to unscrew them. You're supposed to, uh, they're all little tiny screws, you see. They go in the, the top. And I tried on that one and I couldn't get it off. So I'm just going to work with that one for a little while. See how that goes. But yeah. Just letting it warm up, and uh, once I get into it, I'll I'll try to set you up so you can see what's uh, what's going on. Can't tell if you can see what I'm doing or not. I think this is heated up enough.
burn myself. Yeah, this is hot. And it's very easy to get boint on it. Come on. And this doesn't want to stay up on his stand. Hmm. That's better. Okay. There's my first one. Is it great? No. I I haven't had one of these wood burning sen sen sets since I was a, a boy. So it's going to take a little getting used to. When handling, be very careful because this is hot. Very hot. Let me go back to a a little bit simpler one, as you can see here. Didn't do that one very good. Might have to do a do over for that one. That one turned out. It isn't always easy to follow the lines. <laughs> Not with these. Okay. I'm getting better at it, I think. I'm happier with that one. Yeah, I think I'll be a while here. I'll save these tougher ones back. Just work on these easier ones first. Then when I get the hang of it. Then maybe I'll be ready to tackle. A bigger project. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, it don't take long. Okay, I'm done the burning part. That was quick and fairly painless. I got my thumb a couple times, but uh, yeah, now I want to dye them or stain them. And then I'll be all done. Okay, I couldn't figure out what to dye them with. So I'm using food coloring. I mixed a lot of green with some blue and a little red and just some different colors. Um, but I was thinking about stain collar and when I think of the, the Celtics or the Celtics, I think of green, you know, for nature, the trees, the grass. Um, uh, the Irish, you know, um, if you think about them, you think of green shamrock. But, um, <clears throat> no, the, the Celtics have always been fond of their woods and stuff. Um, 
Anyway, I'm trying this out. And I'm liking the, the way it brings out the wood grain. Okay, took them out. Put down paper towels on a tray. Now I took some more paper towels and blotted the top. Okay, and here's my tray. You can see where I did the the runes. Some of them are flipped over. They're in no any certain position. But uh, I liked I like how that worked out. I anticipated them drying lighter than what they are. So when these are finally dry, I imagine they'll be just kind of dark. I didn't want it too dark so I could still see the wood cutting. Otherwise, they'd be useless. I can flip some over here while I'm at it. I'll probably uh, wax them up a little bit, put some sort of protectorant on it, and plus also being food coloring. I imagine this stuff would wear off on your skin. And I already have enough on there right now. I got some there and I got some on this other hand. <clears throat> excuse me. That I'm holding the phone with. Yeah, I want it like a, de a green dye. Stain. And. I got this. Which I'm very happy with. Not quite a turquoise. Probably closer to turquoise than anything, but uh, it's like a, a blue green, I guess. That's turquoise. Anyway, there they are. I'll show you when they're dry. Or I might go ahead and polish them and then show you the finished results. We'll see. But these have got some drying to do because they were really damp. All right, they sat overnight and this is what I have. Um, I like that. That's a pretty great color. I have this one I screwed up, so I'm gonna try out my wax. It's Johnson's paste wax. It's old. <laughs> but I'm gonna wax one and see what it looks like there it is before oh hold on let me get it without so much glare there we go there's the collar there we are before now let me wax it okay so i took that one and i waxed it and i like it it brings out the wood grain nicely. There you can see it next to others. And it brings back the green a little more so. Less blue. So I'm happy with it. That's what they're gonna be.